Now, some cosmologists say that the, the theory of inflation, which began our understanding of the current universe, at least, uh, requires there to be a beginning. Yeah, they're, they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, you know, for one thing, there are theorems about what space-time can do. And you take space-time into the past, and number one, you make some assumptions. And number two, under those assumptions, you say that the classical space-time comes to a singularity. But those assumptions might be wrong. That's always uh, a possibility. And classical space-time is not the fundamental answer. We know the world is not classical. We know there is quantum mechanics. No one has a quantum theory of gravity for which there is a theorem that says the universe had to begin. In fact, it is trivial to prove the opposite theorem. If you have a time-dependent quantum state, it is obviously extendable infinitely far into the past. So, your position, to be clear, is that there's a quantum mechanical state that is the universe and the laws of physics as a, as a singular package. That's right. And so, d does that mean that, from our perspective at least, that the universe is infinite in both directions? That's right. Past as well as future? Yes.